Hello everybody and welcome to my sixth video. This is a continuation of the uh, binary implemented ternary logic circuits. I'm going to be presenting modulo sum and product functions. So here we have the definition of bitlon binary implemented ternary logic output network. Basically you take a ternary signal, convert it to binary process it in binary and convert it back to ternary again. So here we have the sum function a plus b. This is modulo 3 edition. Um, here we have the inputs a and b and here we have the output a plus b. Um, I'm going to use this output function coding. Um, if f is a 0, f2 is a 0 and f1 is a 0 f is a 1, f2 is a 0, and f1 is a 1. f is a 2, f2 is a 1, f1 is a don't care state. Uh, for this truth table here we have the binary coding for inputs A and B. Um, this is A1 and A2. They follow the uh, coding if A is a 0, A2 is a 0 and A1 is a 0. If A is a 1, a2 is a 0 and A1 is a 1. If A is a 2, both A2 and A1 are 1s. Similar, the similar coding for B. The output follows this coding. So if A is a 0, you get zeros. If it's a 1, you get a 0 and a 1. If it's a 2, it's a 1 and an X. The reason I've included the X in there is because it simplifies the design. So here's the kind of map for F1. It's a four variable kind of map. Um, condition A2 is 1 and A1 is 0 is a don't care state. It can't happen. And similarly, B2 is a 1 and B1 is a 0 is a don't care state because it can't happen. So we have the nine entries of the truth table here for um, F1. And we have three loops, that's A2 and B2, that is um, not B1 and A1, and this, is, this one is uh, not A1 and B1 there. So this is the um, definition of the exclusive or get, the sum of products term expression for the ex exclusive or get that's there bring the A2 and B2 down there and because I'm only looping ones with one loop I can change this or to an exclusive or and here I've used De Morgan's theorem to change the AND to a NOR so I'm using the the expression is A1 exclusive or B1 exclusive or A2 no, not A2 or no, not B2. The reason I've done this is it's just because it's, it's simpler to use. I can use an exclusive or gate and a no gate to uh, synthesize the function and because A1 requires two not gates I can get away with using six not gates, six inverters for the whole circuit. Here we have the canon map for F2, is there a B2? Here we're looping zeros, so it's the um, product of sums expression. So here we have A1 and B2 which would be uh, there. Ah, A1 and B2, not A1 and not B2, would be that, and A2 and B1, uh, A2, that, and A2 and B1, not A2 and not B1, would be there. Yeah, 
not A2, not B1. So this is a definition for the exclusive OR gate, and so is this. Um, so that's A1 exclusive OR B2 and A2 exclusive OR B1. Um, I've used De Morgan's theorem to, trans to use an OR no function. So they complement the inputs, complement the output, change to sign. And I've used complemented B2, so I can, that's, a, that's um, equivalent to an exclusive NOR gate with one implement, input complemented. And the same trick here, I've complemented A2, so that's exclusive or it's equivalent to an exclusive NOR gate. So again, I've used two expressions, two functions, sorry, an exclusive OR and a NOR, and I've used two inverters for A1 and B1, and one inverter for B2 and A2. So this is the circuit diagram for the sum function. We have the exclusive OR gates here, and the exclusive NOR gates here. Here we have the Schmidt trigger inverters, here and here, and we're using this output resistor network, diod resistor network here, to give the exclusive OB. This diode means you can use the output coding that I've shown you in the beginning. Um, it is quite complicated to build, but it's just about doable on VeriBoard. Here we have the uh, coding for the product function. We have the output coding. Here is zero. A ternary logic zero is a F2 is a don't care state and F1 is zero. If F is one, F2 is a zero and F1 is a one. If F is two, F1 is a one and F, F2 is a one and F1 is a one. So we have the coding. For A and B, this is the output. 2 times 2 equals 1. Uh, 1 times 2 equals 2. And everything times 0 equals 0. Again, the same coding for A and B. A, A2 and A1. B2 and B1. And the output coding for A times B2 and A times B1. So I've used the don't care state here because it reduces the amount of circuitry I have to do. Have to make, use to make it. Okay. This is the kind of map for F1. Here we have just straight, simple A1 and B1. But I've used De Morgan's theorem and I've complemented A1 and B1, complemented the output, so I've used a north circuit. Um, the reason I've done that is because I can just use one inverter for each input, A and B, A1 and B1. Here I have the camera map for F2. Straightforward. This is A2 and B and... Uh, is it? No. Yeah. A2 and not B2. Yep, A2, not B2, and not A2, and B2, which is the definition of the exclusive OR gate. And if you complement both the inputs of the exclusive OR gate, it performs the same function. Just means I can get away with using one inverter instead of two for each of the inputs A2 and B2. Here's a product function circuit diagram. We have A1, A2, B1, B2, or not, not A1, not B, not A2, not B1, not B2. Exclusive OR gate and exclusive and the NOR gate. And I've used this diode here to uh, that gives me the don't care state in the output for F, F1 and F2. And that's the output.
One last thing, just for completeness, I'll introduce the squared function, which is part of the modulo 3 sum and product algebra. Basically, it just squares the input, so 0 times 0 is 0, 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4 modulo 3, which is 4, which is 1 modulo 3. And basically, it's just two inverters with a resistor won't work to give a logic ternary logic one on the output. Okay that's it. Um, if you don't understand why I've used the output net resistor and diode networks please refer to my other video on binary implemented ternary logic circuits and that will explain it in more detail. Okay that's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye.